What's up, guys? It's Jordan back with another week of the whole thrift haul thing. Um, each week, I want to like get incrementally better. So I watch all the videos. Like I hope you guys watch all the videos, and I take into account what things could be better, what things didn't turn out super great. So each week, you'll probably notice little things changing up here and there. But each week, I also want to get started a little bit quicker. So let's get right into it. Last time I talked to you guys, I was at the Salvation Army on Wednesday. It's Wednesday again, so I went back to the Salvation Army today. But before I went there, obviously on Thursday, I went to the Family Thrift Outlet again and got quite a bit of things. I went to Plato's Closet with my sister on Saturday, got quite a bit of things. And I also went back to the Salvation Army's again today. So without any further ado, I'm just gonna kinda go down the list of all the things I know I got this past week, where I got them from, and show them to you. So this new format I'm gonna use, I'm just gonna kinda like read them off of my screen, show you guys B-roll footage of me showing you the clothes, and then C-roll footage of the clothes. So let's get it. All right, so the first shirt that I got was a Pendleton shirt. I actually got this on eBay. It's just a regular Oxford button-up shirt. I paid probably a dollar for it. That's why I got it on eBay, just to kind of see what kind of quality it would be in and see if I could sell it for more than a dollar, because literally, like I said, it's a dollar. Uh, the next thing I got was a champion sweater. This is just a basic champion sweater. You could probably get this anywhere, but I got it from the thrift, and it's in a pretty good condition. Uh, I really like champion products, and I actually own the shorts to match, so I just went ahead and went with it. Uh, the next item would be a Banks Journal striped yellow shirt. This is one I got from Plato's Closet. Never heard of Banks Journal, but I looked them up, and the stuff is pretty good looking. I really like the way this shirt looks, so I'm debating on whether or not I'm going to keep it. Um, the next one's going to be a Lacoste scarf. The next one's going to be a Lacoste scarf print shirt. <laughs> the next one's going to be a Lacoste scarf. I can't say it. Oh my god. This next one is a Lacoste scarf print hoodie. I found this one at Plato's Closet, just like the Banks Journal. This is awesome. I mean, seriously, I've never really seen a hoodie that looks this like unique and crazy looking. So I had to pick it up. I really didn't have much of a choice in the matter. The next shirt is a Life is Good shirt. It's actually two Life is Good shirts. The first one is really oriented towards dog users. And I think you guys will find this little quote on the shirt to be pretty funny. Uh, the next shirt is a brown shirt that just says highlight reel on the back and life is good on the front. The next thing I found was a Nike Chi Nile hoodie. This hoodie is pretty much basic Nike check, uh, but the check is kind of embroidered in a way that it raises off of the hoodie. Also, the aglets, the little tips on the end of the hoodie bit, are made of metal and have little Nike checks embroidered or etched on them so I thought that was a really cool hoodie I just decided to pick up the next thing is gonna be a Woolrich flannel this flannel is just a basic flannel uh, but I'd never leave any Woolrich products at the store because I know whatever price I'm getting them for at the thrift store I'll be able to get at least you know 10 to 15 dollars more than that so I try to pick up Woolrich by any means necessary the next thing is this Woolrich real tree camo shirt once again, picking it up just because it's Woolrich, but I've never seen a Realtree X Woolrich uh, collab before. So I found that one today at the Salvation Army and I had to pick it up. Like I said, I was looking on eBay, it was going for 20 to $30, depending on you know the condition and quality and how cool the camo print is, obviously. Moving on, we have this Carhartt. Uh, it's like this golden brown, Carhartt brown colorway that they created. It's just a short sleeve Henley. Um, once again, Carhartt's one of those brands where you find it, you just pick it up and just try to see what you can do with it. Uh, so if anyone wants that, it's a man, men's large and it's pretty dope. The next one is just a t-shirt from West Coast Surf Shop. That's a surf shop in Florida, Anna Maria Island, Florida. I really like the way the design on the front and the back looks, so I just went ahead and got it just surely based off of the strength of the design. And maybe someone in Florida will see it and pick it up and like it. And that's what we're hoping for. Uh, the next thing is going to be a Patagonia Fitzroy Bear t-shirt. It's just a gray t-shirt with a faded Patagonia bear on it. The shirt came like that. And this shirt's actually pretty cool because I found it actually still like being sold on Patagonia's website. 
Moving on, we have this Duluth brown flannel. This is a men's medium. I think the colorway on it is crazy. And if you match it up with that brown Life is Good shirt, I actually thought the fit fit looked pretty nice when you put those together. And I'll try to drop the video of that. Just remind future chaff to edit that in. The next thing is going to be L.L. Bean gray chammy shirt. So I just sold an L.L. Bean red chammy shirt the other day. And literally, I saw the gray one and I was like, okay, if I just sold the red one the other day, the gray one will probably sell too. So went ahead and picked it up, surely off the strength of the fact that I just sold one on Monday. Uh, Filson. C.C. Filson. I always joke and say like, man, I wish I could find whatever brand in the thrift store. And within a week or two of saying that, I always end up finding it. And C.C. Filson is one of those brands that I literally told someone last week. I was like, there's no one would ever take Filson to the thrift store, right? Look at this. Look at this. I know y'all see this. So I walked in there and I found this Filson shirt today and really it's not the best looking shirt in the world. It's not the, you know, most awesome shirt I've ever seen. But the fact that I just said I was looking for this brand and I found it. That's all I could say. I'll just move on to the next thing. So we have this members only bomber here. It's a gray bomber, really nice bomber, tiny little stain on it. Something I really hope I can get out because Members Only is a really nice vintage brand and this bomber is dope. So this next shirt's gonna be a North Face olive shirt. I think this is a really nice shirt. So that's why I picked it up. It looks like it's a corduroy pattern, but it's not really a corduroy pattern. Got some really cool details on it too. So you get a little North Face logo on the zipper as well as a nice little North Face logo on the uh, bottom of the shirt as well. And I always look for those details when I pick something up. Uh, we're finally here at the last four items, which are all Columbia items. I tried to put everything that was the same brand together together. So first is this super dope Columbia Red Windbreaker. Found this one today at the Salvation Army. It reminds me of the type of windbreakers that the news reporters wear when they're reporting live on the scene, uh, especially like during a storm or something. I also got this red Columbia pullover. It looks kind of like a vintage one. I looked up the exact color and it's like an Adobe colorway. That's what they call it. Pretty nice. I love the little Columbia embroidery on there. We then have my personal favorite Columbia piece I picked up, which is this camo hunting shirt with a bunch of little dogs on it. And as you can see, all the dogs are hunting. Some of them have little things in their mouth to signify they caught a duck or something like that. But I'm pretty sure the hunters out there are really going to appreciate this shirt <laughs> when I list it. And the last thing, most boring thing, is just a pair of Columbia fishing pants. These have a cutoff at the um, knee, so you can wear them as shorts as well. But they're pretty dope. Felt like that video was pretty long. There's like over 20 plus items that I got since last Thursday. I paid a total of probably $50 for all of them. And I'm looking to make a lot more than that back. I'll let you guys know how that goes. In the meantime, if you saw any clothes on there that you like, definitely let me know and I'll let you have them for cheaper than I'm gonna put them up on eBay for because I like you guys, y'all are the homies. Anyways, you know what it is, it's your boy.